Okay, so let's have a look at this lap zipper, right? So here it is, this is the face side. Um, and let's just flip it over really quick um, to remind you that we actually did shorten the zipper. And um, if you forget how to shorten it, um, go back to level one and check out the railroad because I go through and I explain um, pretty well how to shorten the zipper. So what I'm gonna be looking for, first of all, is the quality of the stitching. My top stitching is consistent. It looks pretty good. Here is where the pull is. So I'd undo and I'd unzip that. And I look how consistent this stitching looks and that looks pretty good. Remember up here, we could have some problems with that curving or you know looping out and I showed you how to um, uh, do sew this on so you wouldn't have that so now I'm gonna sit, sew that up I'm gonna look here at the under area and just make sure that stitching is consistent I've got a good seam there and that I don't have my stitching doesn't come over here sometimes we will see stitching here if I saw stitching coming over that seam allowance I would ask you to uh, redo that area but I have a really good uh, pivot here that goes right up into the zipper and then I would actually look underneath how clean it looks underneath and this this is really clean this is what the way I would want to see it um, now I will mention that on this side the width that I did was about 3 8 and honestly we probably could have gone about a half inch which would have given us a little bit more room for that zipper because you can see how snug it is. It is really nice and snug and tight. That zipper is not gonna go anywhere. Um, you might see this on lighter weight fabrics, um, this as narrow as this is. Um, next time, if you want to try a half inch seam, you will still definitely have enough um, space there to do your stitching and still get right onto that seam. Um, although on this one, we did it this more narrow. We'll see this narrow piece maybe if you do it on a top or on a lightweight skirt you would see it at the 3 8 keeping that zipper really snug if you have a heavier weight fabric it's going to be a wider stitch length and then you'll probably also have a wider seam allowance this one was three eight three quarters so on heavier fabric or you know medium to heavier weight fabric like a tweed you might have a one inch seam allowance which gives you a little bit more room to work with your zipper and the fold over for that for that fabric all right but if your zipper is looking good like this and i just drew these stitches here just to show you how uh, another width would look i'm going to press those out before i put them in the notebook if your zipper looks like this you that's full points for you